the sheer scope and depth of biology can make the, the subject a real challenge in any biology course for both students and instructors. Students may get all the details, but they are not sure how to connect the dots. Our Make Connections questions are designed to help them connect those dots. When I cover DNA replication in my class, students find this to be very challenging material. Inevitably, I get a parade of students through my office. Once I had a student in my office, I remember for 30 minutes, she said to me, you know, sometimes I just feel like I, I can't understand the big picture. Like, I understand replication now, but I just don't see where it fits in or what, what its significance is. So I asked her to flip back with me to chapter 12. We looked at the cell cycle, and I said, where's replication happening here? And she got this bright look on her face and said, oh, is that what happens in S phase? And that experience with the student led us to put a Make Connections question in chapter 16, uh, referring back to the cell cycle. For example, they can read about microvilli in, in the chapter about cells, and they can read about root hairs in the section about plants. But what do these two things have in common besides the fact that they're hairy? Well, they both have large surface areas which enable them to absorb things better. And so by comparing different parts of the book, the student arrives at a more fundamental truth. You know, for an instructor, the most exciting thing for us is to see a student get it, to see that light bulb go off. And so we want to do that however we can in the book. Our new impact figures help students make connections between classroom learning, research breakthroughs, and their lives. I've noticed that the class completely comes alive when certain topics come up. And these tend to be topics like human health, for example, HIV, cancer, stem cells, or topics that touch on the environment, such as alternative fuels or ocean acidification. This is because students get really excited when they learn about the connection between what they're learning in class and problems they really care about in the world. For many years, biologists have wondered to what extent our bodies can defend against cancer. In recent years, the answer has become clear. Our immune system can defend against a set of cancers that are caused by viruses. In the ninth edition, I highlight this discovery with an impact figure, showing students how one researcher's work on a virus called HPV led to a vaccine called Gardasil that protects against cervical cancer. Through this figure, students will learn how a recent research breakthrough has already had a direct impact on their lives. We believe that these figures will inspire and motivate students to dedicate the time and effort necessary for them to be successful in their biology course. Evolution is the core theme that unifies all of biology the one idea that makes sense of everything we know about living organisms. The Campbell has always had very strong coverage of evolution, but in the ninth edition we've taken it to an even higher level. Every single chapter has at least one section on evolutionary aspects of the chapter material, thereby linking the entire book to biology's central theme, evolution. Groupings of related content, such as, for example, the functions of proteins, are especially challenging for students who need to be able to organize this material onto their own mental framework. We're helping the students meet this challenge in the ninth edition by introducing a new feature called the Visual Organizer. For example, for the functions of proteins, in most textbooks you will see them presented in the form of a table built of words alone. Instead, we have designed a visual organizer for this purpose. Presenting the protein functions along with graphic elements will allow students to distinguish between the different protein functions while at the same time recognizing their common characteristics as a group. In other words, visual organizers will help the student see both the forest and the trees. Ecology is the capstone that integrates all of biology. In the ninth edition, we've expanded our ecology coverage in many exciting ways. We refined the unit, and in fact the book as a whole, to reflect our vision of biology as an increasingly global science, including improved coverage of global climate change, 
uh, conservation issues, and many other topics. We've also added text, made connections questions, and many features to illustrate how the breadth of biology at all scales helps us to understand patterns and processes in nature. And finally, we want students to see that ecologists increasingly use fundamental biological knowledge to solve problems in the world around us. It's an exciting time to be a biologist.